Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. And for today's video, it's going to be kind of what I'm going to call a rant video, if you will. What I mean by a rant video? Well, uh, Lego just recently announced some changes that they're going to be making to BrickLink. And with that being said, I just wanted to kind of make a quick video to kind of share some of the changes you can expect to see happening with BrickLink in the, in the coming months. Uh, and also my feelings about it, which me personally, I feel this could kind of be the end of BrickLink, at least the BrickLink that we know. And if this is something that interests you, stick around because we are going to be discussing this in depth right now. Anyway, yesterday I received an email from BrickLink team, <laughs> as it was titled, and uh, what that email stated is that they are updating their terms and service for tax compliance. Now I'm just going to real quickly kind of show you my email and just kind of touch upon a few of the thumb points, if you will. Uh, starting with the first thing, it says, what is changing? Collections of U.S. sales tax. We will begin to collect U.S. sales tax in the United States. We have already registered in two states, Connecticut and California, and we plan to register in more states within the next few months. All orders shipping to an address in these states, even from stores outside the United States, will be subject to this tax requirement. And that's why I said I wanted to kind of touch on this thing and kind of give you guys a heads up because... I'm going to share my thoughts on all this after I finish kind of touching on the email, but I don't think it's going to be very good. Anyway, getting back to some of the points of this particular email. The next thing they're going to be doing is collections of VAT on BrickLink fees. We will begin sh charging VAT on BrickLink fees to EU sellers who have enabled the VAT feature on BrickLink. The first invoice date that this will take effect on is August 5th. So that means it's coming extremely soon, guys. So if you have some parts you need to order, I recommend you order them now because a lot's about to change. Last kind of thing I was going to kind of touch on with this particular email was that the uh, terms of service changes to the summary. And what the biggest change is going to be, it says the language has been changed for the collection of U.S. taxes and sales. But the other thing is the company has now been changed from BrickLink to Lego BrickLink. So BrickLink will no longer be called BrickLink. It will be referred to as Lego BrickLink. Now here's where I just want to kind of touch and give some of my thoughts about it. Now, number one, I know that Lego is a corporation and they do have to collect taxes and charge taxes and all that for all sales. But here's the problem. BrickLink is kind of like eBay in the aspect. And what I mean by that is when eBay first started out, a lot of people would go on eBay and buy stuff because it was always a fantastic deal. Uh, and you didn't have to pay all these silly taxes and everything else between state to state and all that. So everybody was really happy because you were getting a good bargain. You didn't pay a markup and so on and so forth. Now, I do understand that Lego is a corporation and they do have to pay taxes and they do have to abide by the law. So I get why they're doing it. But here's where I see the problem becomes. The reason that BrickLink has always been so popular and the reason that so many people have always been buying from BrickLink not to mention just buying, but even selling on BrickLink, is the simple fact of the matter is it was a nice cheap alternative to buying Lego. You didn't have to go to the Lego store to buy it. Uh, you didn't have to go to the online Lego store to buy it because the online Lego store typically is pretty expensive. Uh, usually your best deals are going to the pick-a-brick ball, but a lot of times there's not a very good selection for parts on the pick-a-brick wall when you go to the stores. And if you're someone like me, for example, there is no store that's anywhere nearby, so you're always kind of at the whims of everybody else to hopefully find some good deals. But now with all these new changes that they're implementing, what's going to end up happening is that the people that do sell on BrickLink, uh, number one, because they're collecting taxes on it, it's going to be reported to the United States Treasury or you've, either way the IRS. Uh, and these people are going to have to start making claims on that as income. So if people are having to make claims on that as income, guess what? They cannot give you those really awesome deals they always gave you. Because now they have to cover their costs in the tax penalty that they're going to have to pay. So this is why the heading of my particular video was called The End of BrickLink. I don't know that it'll necessarily be the absolute end of BrickLink, but it's going to be the end of BrickLink that we know or as we know it. Uh, so if you have any big purchases or big parts you're wanting to buy, now would be the time to do it because here in just about a week, uh, you're going to start getting nailed on the taxes and you're going to see the fees go up. I think you're going to see a lot of the prices of parts skyrocket because like I said, the people that are selling them are now going to have to worry about making more money on them if they have to claim that as a income. And with them having to claim it as an income, they're going to pass on those charges to you, the buyer. So, uh, 
again, my kind of thoughts and feelings on it. This is kind of the end of BrickLink, at least the BrickLink as we know it. Uh, I always thought ever since the minute that Lego purchased BrickLink that it was going to be a bad thing for us, the consumers, for us, the Lego collectors and builders. And uh, I was right, in my opinion, when I thought that originally. And uh, it's sad to say and sad to see, but I just see BrickLink failing. The one thing I will say about it, though, is there is still one more site that Lego hasn't gotten greedy about and purchased and screwed up yet. And what that is, is Brick Owl. Now, if you've never heard of Brick Owl, here's the site itself. And I'm going to be putting a link in the description of this video below so you can go check it out. But again, I just wanted to kind of give you an option that you can go and shop at. And something else that's good to point out is a lot of the sellers that are on Brick Owl are also already established sellers that are on Brick Link. So anyway, in short, my feelings are that Lego's greed has got the best of them. They're out to screw us, even though it's just because they have to follow the guidelines and the rules. Uh, but they purchased BrickLink just for the simple fact of the matter to kind of stick it to the man because they wanted to be greedy and have a corner on all the marketplaces. So again, I recommend going to Brick Owl if you're looking for deals because here in a few weeks, you're not gonna find any deals on BrickLink anymore. So as always, Thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and smack that bell if you get a chance so you get notifications on all my videos. And we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.